kusikia kitu ambacho si kisuri sana lakini nataka tuingie katika neno kwa muda mfupi kitu kile ninasikia nasikia nasikia jukwaa ambalo liko hai Mungu ananiambia mlijenga beside jukwaa hili la neno la maneno ama jukwa hili la kilio ananiambia kuna jukwaa la pili liko katika linabebwa na mbuzi huyo na linaitwa jukwaa la unyonge udhaifu unyonge na ninasikia kitu kile sasa kikiwa juu ya taifa mzima actually nasikia kikitoka kutoka kwa mchanga na taifa mzima nasikia linatembea kama mtu mnyonge na unyonge wake si kupungua unaopungua ni kuongezeka unaongezeka likidhoofika so nikiwa hapa nasikia nimefika mahali kuna staggering na kile nasikia ni unyonge ulio dani sana ninaye usikia kwa mwili na naona kitu kile kikiwa kimetanda katika taifa mzima so nakisikia kutoka hapa nasikia kikiwa kime kimejinyosha mpaka kisumu na mbele yangu kimejinyosha mpaka mahali sioni upande huu nasikia kikipanda milima na kikiteremka yani kitu kinakaa kama sijui ni mat ni nini lakini ni ni unyonge ule unyonge ule udhaifu ule time mwanguko ninatafuta ni neno gani linasimama katika unyonge huo kwa maana nasikia kama taifa limeletwa katika unyonge huo kutoka Januari limesogeshwa mpaka lipandwe juu yake imekuweko all along lakini ni kufunguliwa imefunguliwa ili lianze kuelekea barabara ya kuanguka so najaribu kutafakari kitu kile maana nimeomba nikasikia kuna kitu nimefuka lakini nimekuja mahali pana pana kitu stridge pana unyonge na sisikii ukiwa unyonge wa nafsi nasikia ukiwa unyonge wa mwili unyonge wa mwili unasimamia the structural factors ni vile ninajua tukiomba sana kuna watu awasikia kama wameenda kanisani mpaka tusome maandiko kwa hivyo nikisema tuombe sana hata kuwa nasikia kama kulikuwa na conference nasikia kama this time i came ili ni, ni nisimame katika makutano ya jia nibadilishe kitu na kitu hiki kinaguza taifa mzima let me continue from where we left yesterday Can you read the book of Proverbs 14? Uh, I hope you're there. 14 the box rider i hope you're there 14 14 proverbs 14 14 the box rider in the heart shall be filled with his own ways and a good man shall be satisfied from above himself the box rider in heart shall be filled with his own ways and good man shall be satisfied from above himself Uh, and I will read Proverbs 13 line 22 13 line 22 and good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children but the wealth of the sinner is 
reigned up for the just. A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children, but the wealth of a sinner is laid up for the just. Sinjui kama una Sinjui kama una pata andiko lire udani wa vile linasema. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'll read chapter 13, line 2 again, line 2. Line 2 says, A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of a transgressor feeds on violence. I'll read that again. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressor feeds on Firings. I want to mark good and progressor. Good and progressor. Those two ones. They are very important. They are talking about the state of the heart. So in a sema, mm, Kiswahiri, nisome kwa Kiswahiri, yako ndugu yangu, and Kohiro. Yes, line two. Mutu atakura mema kwa matunda ya kinywa chake. Ba, bali nafsi ya mutu haini itakura jeuri. Hmm? Soma iyo tena. Iyo ni kiswahiri kiswahiri. Mutu atakura mema kwa matunda ya kinywa chake. Bali nafsi ya mutu haini itakura jeuri. Mutu haini. Haini. Yoni kiswahili ya Tanzania Haini Ama ya coast Atakura Jauri Alright Nitasoma andiko lingine Katika Proverbs 12 25 Heaviness in the heart of a man makes him stoop. But a good word makes him glad. Heaviness in the heart of a man makes him stoop. But a good word makes him glad. Ebu, to some here. Uzito katika moyo wa mutu huinamisha. Mbali neno njema hufuraisha. Yeah. So matena. Uzito katika moyo wa mutu huinamisha huinamisha mm. bali neno njema hufurahisha. Uinamisha. Uzito ulio moyoni. Uinamisha. Kuinamisha inafanya mtu anjikuje. Lakini neno jema ufurahisha unafanya mtu ainuke na uso wake utabasamu na mwili wake uwe na raha hiyo ni kufurahisha na ananena juu ya moyo now let's mm, turundi mahali tulikuwa jana kabla sijapita tunaambiwa ya kwamba mtu Alie na moyo mwema atakura mema kwa maneno ya kinywa chake lakini mtu haini haini ni wewe ndio unasoma tuambie <laughs> ndugu yangu ana Kiswahili ndio yako eh ama we, oh wewe si wambi Kiswahili ni wambi biashara Haini Mtu alie na moyo muovu 
atakura jeuri <laughs> Now eh kuna mtu anaongea Sipira mtandamu atapata mema kulingana na wema ulio moyoni mwake na kila mwanandamu apatae jeuri atapata ule ile ile jeuri kulingana na uovu ulie moyoni mwake hiyo ni kumaanisha nikitaka kufikia mema nataka nikipanda you see tunaponyena juu ya mema wakati mwingine tuelewi nataka nikifika shambani nipande nipate mema katika kupanda kwangu nipate mafuno na kama ni kuuza ninauza nipate kwa kuuza na kama ni kura niweze kura kwa raha kupata mema ni kumanisha nikipata watoto niona wale watoto wakikoma na wafanyike watu walio na mwelekeo kupata mema ni, ni kama kazi ninafanya nione ile kazi nikifanya ikitokea vile ninavyo taka itokee na nipate faida ya kazi ile baada ya kuifanya hiyo ni kupata mema anasema mtu mwenye moyo mwema upata mema kutokana na ki, maneno ya kinywa chake lakini mtu mwenye moyo jeuri yeye kile atapata maishani e, ha, haini moyo muovu kile atapata ni jehuri hiyo ni kumaanisha katika jia yake akuta kosekana mambaya kila mahali yaendapo hakuna wakati atapata mema niache hilo akarundi akasema mtu mwenye moyo mwema uachia watoto wa watoto wake ulidhi you see wakati nilisikia tena wahubiri wa kiumbiri juu ya lazima uache ulidhi si kusikia wakinena juu ya wema ni nini kwa maana ulidhi ule si kuachwa unawachwa tu kwa maana kuna watu wengi watawacha pesa Are you hearing me? Kuna watu wengi sana wana mali itakayebaki. Wakiva watabakisha magari, watabakisha mashamba, watabakisha nini? Lakini anasema mtu mwenye moyo mwema ndiye pekee uachia watoto wa watoto wake ulivi. Lakini mtu mwenye moyo mbaya mali aliye nayo aihesabiwi ikiwa yake na yesabiwi kuwa itafikia ya watoto wa watoto wake anasema mali yake mwishowe uchukuliwa na wenye haki iwe yao kwa nini itatoka mikononi mwa watoto wake kwa nini hataweza kuachia watoto wake kwa sababu kitu wako nacho moyoni uovu ulio moyoni wakati ataupitisha kwa watoto wake kwa maana hata wao wataridhi Mungu akitazama haoni ulidhi anaona uharibifu kwa hivyo watoto wale wataridhi kuharibika kwa hivyo hata kama aliacha mali ile mali haitawazaidia itapotea 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 itaondoka mikononi mwao kwa maana wameridhi kuharibika ndio nilisema urembo wa ulidhi unategemea mipaka ya ulidhi huo so aliye na moyo mwema ndiye uweza kuachia wa watoto wa watoto wake ulidhi hiyo ni kumaanisha kile atapeana kutoka moyoni kitaweza kusustain alichopeana kutoka mwilini kipita watoto wake kivikia watoto wa watoto wake na watoto wa watoto wake kitaweza kuhifadhika because 
ukisikia mwenda una kundasemekana mtu mwenye moyo mwema ataachia watoto watoto wake ulithi do you think hata ukinunua shamba ni rahisi sana rifikie watoto wa watoto eh hata ukinunua gari unafikiri itaonekana na watoto wa watoto uachie ile kijana yako inatembea huku na gari hiyo ipatikane na kijana yake na ibaki ufungue account ya kijana kijana aseeke pesa ile ifikie watoto wake na ipite watoto wake iende kwa watoto wake you think it will be very easy it is not easy kwa sababu huyu mtu unaacha Solomon atasema Eri kukura na kushipa na kupumzika kwa maana hujui yule umepata ni mjinga ama ni mwenye hekima Utalima ujiwekee uachie pumbavu itawanye <laughs> Kuisha na siku moja So eri kukura ushipe kwa maana ujui utakayewapata Ni kabila gani Naweza kukuta mzee amenunua shamba la eka 20. Anakufa na vile alienda mbira hata mbira kiatu. <laughs> Akisomesha watoto wakasoma na shamba la miaka, hata hakulima akihifadhi. Hata hakuusa hata eka anunue kagari yake ya kutembea naye miaka ikiisha. Alikuwa ameifadhi. Siku ile atakufa kijana hiyo itachukua Itafikiri vile inaweza kununua Mercedes. Yeye yuse ya kazira 20 zote. Itembee Mombasa. Irundi na Mercedes. Afike Nairobi, Mercedes ianguke. <laughs> na pesa yote imeisha. Niko na ndugu moja alikoi aliniambia unajua mimi nikija upande huu. Ni shamba niliusa nilidhidhishudhiwa nikafikiri ninaweza kuwa tajiri nikausa nikapata milioni mbili nikaweka kwa mfuko nikatoka kwetu niende hivi afanye biashara nilipofika huku nilikuwa nataka nje huku ninunue shamba la kulima mishiri Nikaenda akaniambia nikaenda pale ngambo kutafuta shamba. Nikakutana na jamaa moja akanikoni zote. <laughs> Kanisani. Akakutana na pasta na mzee wa kanisa na mama. Wakaenda kumtafutia shamba. Wakamuzia shamba aliko na akawapea milioni mbili. So wakati alikuwa anakuja kwa ofisi yangu alikuwa nakaa kama kikimengoka msumari ako na watoto hawezi kulipa nyumba yake hawezi rudi nyumbani aliusa shamba ana cha kufanya ana biashara kile alikuwa anataka kuanzisha hakiko sasa ni kupewa amepewa mahali pa kukaa na mtu kile baba yake alikuwa naye kimeisha na siku moja kutoka kwake. Sio nikamwambia brother, ulifanya makosa. Kuusa shamba kwa maana mashamba ingine mnapewa inabeba zaidi ya mchanga. Je, ulichunguza kujua ukiuza ama pesa zake zinaweza kukaa? Haya hiyo ni story ya kwingine. Because tulisema ulithi huwa unabeba vitu mbili wa unabeba kama ni pesa pesa hizo umeachiwa na mira ya mwenye kukuachia pamoja na mipaka iliyo katika mira hiyo kwa hivyo uzuri wa ulithi uko katika mipaka yake lakini moyo wa mtu mwema uweza kuacha ulithi utakayeweza kufika vizazi ya tatu 
vya ine watoto wale bandu watakuta not neno si pesa ni moyo mwema lakini moyo wa mtu haini ufikishia watoto wake jeuri Eh, ulisa rafiki yako moyo wako uko ukipima uko na wema kiwango gani? Umulisa, yako ikipima wema wake uko kiwango gani? Yako iko kiwango gani? <laughs> Kama tunaweza kuingiza kitu ya kupima yako iko na kiwango gani? Wema wa moyo Kwa maana hiyo ni kama kumaanisha hivi mtu huyu mwenye moyo mwema ndiye ana cha kufanya kitaka chodumu kile tacho faida kile anafanya anakifanya kikindumu na anakifanya kikileta faida na hata wakati atakipitisha atakipitisha na moyo wake ukipita kwa watoto kwa hivyo watapokea kitu kitaka chodumu amewapitishia kitu kilio na uwezo wa kupanuka Have you got that? Lakini mwenye moyo haini anawapitishia ulithi usio na uwezo wa kufikia hata kizazi chao hao. Amewapea kitu ambacho hakiwezi panuka. Amewapea kitu kitakachowaua na kikufe chenyewe ame wapitishia violence death destruction sababu ana moyo mbaya kuna watu ushindwa tulipolidhi mali kutoka kwa baba yetu kwa nini ilikwisha haraka muliangalia moyo wake mlikuwa mnajua moyo wake uko kiwango gani wema wake uko kiwango gani Haleluya Sijui ama tuko na nyinyi tukifika hapo mambo yanaanza kuwa silent na ni mambo kadhaa nataka uone kabla sijasema mengine yaliyomo e, nilipoteza kwingine Now 14 The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways but a good man shall be satisfied from himself Mtu aliye na moyo unayerundi nyuma Unarundi nyuma kutoka wapi Unarundi nyuma kutoka katika mema anaondokea mema aliyekuwa ameanza kupata moyo wake utajaa njia zake mwenyewe i want you to note that njia zake mwenyewe arafa anapita anasema and a good man shall be satisfied from himself lakini mtu moyo mwema ah kiswahili inasema ageukae moyoni ushiba njia zake mwenyewe hey. na mtu mwema ataridhika nafsini mwake 
mtu mwema atakuwa ameridhika atakuwa ametosheka atakuwa amepata vitu kutoka yaliyo nafsini mwake atakuwa ametosheka akimbisani na jia nyingi mtu mwema nafsi yake itakuwa imetosheka ndani yake na atapata mema kutoka katika kilitokae katika nafsi yake Now Nataka usikize kitu hiki Mtu aliye na moyo mwema kuna vitu kadhaa upata Kitu cha kwanza ana uwezo kwa sababu ya mambo kadhaa tumesoma sijui kama nitaenda andiko kwa andiko ni explain kuna mambo kadhaa atapata kitu cha kwanza atakuwa na uwezo nafsini mwake kufikia the gifts of God the Father within him kwa sababu wa wema wa nafsi yake kuna kitu hana ana zile njia nyingi zinasumbua ana kutosheka katika nafsi yaani pumziko la nafsi linapumzika lina mahali panapovaa ana wema nafsini mwake kwa hivyo ana pumziko lililo katika nafsi mahali panapovaa hebu ambia wale wametuondokea sasa warundi pande hii kama mama huyo tayari ame na we, we rudini pa na huko leo nitasimamisha watu wasimame ili waweze kusikia mwingine yako hapa ana uwezo kufikia kile tunaita the talents zilizo ndani yake zitokae katika vipawa vya Mungu aliyempea kwa sababu moyo wake unapumziko la aina limwezeshaye kufikia vilivyo ndani na kujua hiki ndicho nasikia nimepewa na kutaka kukifuata kwa sababu ya wema wa nafsi ya moyo wake anapumziko moyoni. Limwezeshaye kuweza kufikia vitu fulani vili alivyopewa. Tunaita talents na kuanza kufifanyisha kazi. Hiyo ni kitu kimoja. Kitu cha pili, note this, mtu yule ana uwezo wa kuisikia sauti ya roho wake kwa uraisi kwa maana moyo wake unapumziko Goja nirundi tena Are you ready for this? Tasema mtu huyu ana uwezo kufikia sauti ya roho wake kwa sababu ya pumziko aliye naro moyoni na kufanyisha anachokisikia kutoka ndani yake kazi Sasa wale hawakuweko jana wanashindwa ile sauti ni nini wale wanakuweko jana wanajua sauti hiyo nina nena juu yake ni nini Kwa maana ndani yako kuna vitu viwili vit, 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 vitaka vyo kuunganisha na ulithi utokae kwa baba yako kwa Mungu Kitu cha kwanza ni kitu tunaita talents. Nilisema ni kama matawi ya mbegu iliyo katika roho yako ya ulithi wako. Linatokea kama tawi. So kama vile unaweza kuona kwa muti e, umepanda umepanda marago alafu nimetoa matawi. Tawi lile linatokea nje. Hiyo ni kumaanisha kuna mbegu kwa mchanga imeanza kumea. Kila wakati roho wako uachilia lile tawi anaachilia kitu kitu kile ndicho tunaita talents ni kama tawi linaunganishwa kwa kitu kiko ndani yako kitu hicho kiko ndani yako ndio ulithi wako kutoka kwa Mungu na ulithi wako ndio utajiri wako wakati mwingi huwa tuko nazo lakini hatuwezi kusifikia kwa sababu kuna kitu kasoro ndani yetu 
mio yetu aifikiri pumziko linaloitajika niweze kunjitazama ndani niweze hata kushughulika na hiki kiko ndani yangu ukitaka kujua tupati pumziko tembea for example in the universities of Kenya ukiwa miaka kumi na mbili mpaka miaka ishirini ndio mtu mtu usu, usunguka sana ajue yeye ni nani ndio utakuta ukisumbuka kujenga hiki umeenda university unaona kuna raporo tare pale kuna nini kile kuna wanafanya hiki unajisumbua kujua kile unajisumbua kujua kile unajisumbua kujua kile mpaka unatoka ukiwa umeumba kitu chako ukute taifa la Kenya is very interesting wale vijana na wasichana wakienda kule awasumbuani na hiyo kama yuko class yuko kwa street kama sasa enda hapa 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 tu hapa meru hapo kwa mlango na uende pande ile kemu university iko uone wale wasichana na vijana as long as ayuko lecture they are all over meru wakiwa in pairs they are busy marrying and being married mtu yule anjisumbui kabisa na kile kiko ndani yake na maisha yake yatakuwa vipi baadaye asumbuki kabisa so baada ya miaka ine ndiye anaanza kusumbuka na application na kienda akio, aki, akiomba kazi lakini ukimuuliza what can you do ajui what is what are your gifts ajui anasema yeye anyway, nilikuwa anacheza football Ambio huko hakuna uwaja ya mpira. What are your giftings? Eh nilikuwa na cheza basketball. Utasikia lugha aina hiyo. Yaani ajui kabisa kilicho ndani yake na kiko. Lakini alinjishughulisha na njia nyingi sana za kuoa na kuolewa na mbash na disco na nini na nini na kukaa endo kwa streets na kutembea na mrasta na ku... that is what they are living when ataka poamuka agundue anahitaji kiatu dakika hiyo ndio anakimbia kutafuta kazi mwambie aoshe gari uone vile mtapigana mwambie yani anaona so unashindwa what's wrong with you what's wrong with you kuna kitu kimoja kifanyike ndani yake awezi kutulia afikie this leave of its gifting ili aanze kuifungua akiwa na munda because wakati ule nyumba yake imeripwa alipe nyumba stima imeripwa kama kuna stima eh, kwenda shule kazi yake ni kukura hata chakula anakaa akituma message nitumie pesa ya chakula kama wengine wako hapa tumie pesa ya chakula jioni message asubuhi message akiamka anafikiria anga sinatoka juu ya mti message asubuhi na pensi jioni lakini ni sawa ashughuliki pesa ni kutumwa sinatumwa na ajui ama mama ako nazo ama baba ako nazo hata wakati mwingine hata atakununua kiatu yake ni shida lakini yeye yeah, hata kumbuka hiyo dakika hiyo ni dakika asumbuliwi na chochote ni messenger anatuma lakini she will never take time to analyze what actually am i calling so ninapotembea na nauliza who do you think you shall become later how will you be that ukitafuta watu ambaye wamekuwa watu nilisema jana those lives are very interesting hata mwenye dhambi wa mwisho akiweza kupata ule utulifu afikishe mkono wake ndani atoke na one of those things anjue i'm feeling like i'm gifted this way so akaenda kwa manduka alipoenda kusoma kila ngita pesa ile ina anasoma anakuta hata ni kama dream ako naye so akiwa kwa jia kenjiuliza ni kumaanisha walio na pesa kidogo they cannot pray a guitar 
dakika hiyo akasikia kitu kingine ndani yake akasikia si niko na uwezo ya kujenga yangu si i can build my own akarundi nyumbani alikuwa college akaomba garage ya baba yake atengeneze kawaka shop ya kutenga kitu yake akakaa pale that is when he began kujenga those things the guitars ana kafu miti yake anatengeneza ngita yake anaenda sasa kuanduka ananunua tufitu anaweka alikuwa anafikiri alikuwa anafanya engineering anaweka anapata ngita yake akalia rais no i think i can supply my generation na vitu hivi kwa mbei ya chini hiyo mbei iko kule iko juu sana dakika hiyo akaanza kufanya hivyo right now is among the millionaires na actual equipment zake ni chipa Kenya ndio imesifanya expensive because within 15000 you get a guitar and it's ambri and it's amplifier zikiwa zimeshikana that time he was in college leo he is among the young millionaires Na tunaweza kuanza kwenda namna hiyo mwingine mfuate huyu ana ndio na na Facebook na what have you mwakute how they began Si ati ni biashara alikuwa anajenga Ni kitu aliexplore anasikia anataka kuuzika nacho na ako na kitu ndani yake Akaketi pale akiwa shule akaanza kuifanyisha kazi anafanya 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 mwisho yetu became an industry Today also he is among the young millionaires. The people that you hear about in the world who broke out ukimusikiza wengi wao watakwambia nilisikia kitu kiko ndani yangu. Nikatafuta kukanisha kazi. Nikanjenga kile niko nacho. and the gifts of god are without repentance so mtu aliyo na moyo mwema kuna kitu anakuwa nacho anakuwa na kitu ki, an, biblia inaita kutosheka kwa aina na kwa sababu ya kitu kile ana uwezo wa kufikia the leave of his talents within na kuanza kushughulika nayo wakati ana munda wa kufanya hivyo hiyo ni kitu cha kwanza kitu cha pili anaweza kusikiza sauti ya roho wake hiyo tuliita nini dhamiri hmm? conscience conscience is like a voice from your spirit na conscience ua inanena kweli kila wakati hiyo ni kumaanisha ni sauti ifikishiae nafsi yako neno litokae katika roho yako litokaro kwa Mungu hata mbira wewe kujua sheria ya Mungu na ndio sababu Biblia inasema walioishi katika nyakati za nafsi isia watahukumiwa kwa taratibu hiyo walioishi wakati sheria imefunuliwa watahukumiwa kwa taratibu hiyo walioishi wakati wa neema watahukumiwa kwa taratibu hiyo lakini mtu anayeishi katika wakati wa neema ako na advantage kubwa kwa hivyo hukumu yake itakuwa kubwa because si atizia zake ziligeuzwa ako na izia zile Noah alikuwa anafuata. Have you here? Isia angali nazo. Kwa hivyo sauti ile ingali na nena. Ako na Biblia iliyoandikwa sheria. Ile Musa alifuata. Finally, ako na Yesu. So mtu huyu ako na vitu vitatu that gives him a bigger cutting edge kuliko Musa na kuliko Noah
mtu aliye na moyo mwema uweza kuifikia ile sauti na kuifanyisha kazi kwa sababu anapumziko sikiza afikiae sauti hiyo na kuifanyisha kazi ufikia chemichemi ya ulithi wa Mungu ndani yake note very important Afikiae sauti ya roho yake na kuifanyisha kazi ufikia chemichemi ya ulithi wa Mungu iliyo ndani yake Mtu yule ndiye uweza kuachia watoto wa watoto wake ulithi ulio ulithi kweli Because kile atawaachia ni kizima kilichofunguka cha ulithi utokae kwa Mungu na kizima kile kitaenda vizazi vyote kikiwa hakijifungi Ndiyo sababu anasema, anasema, anasema mtu mwema uachia watoto wa watoto ulithi kile anawaachia ni kizima kiliyofunguka kutoka kwa Mungu aliyemtuma So atawaachia kitu kiliyojifunga atawaachia kizima kilichofunguka na kizima hicho kikiwa kimefunguka mafuta yake itafunika kila azaliwae katika nyumba hiyo kwa maana kimefunguka niwape mfano Ibrahim Ibrahim aliridhia Isaka kizima kilichofunguka kutoka kwake na kwa sababu ya kizima kile Isaka chake kilifunguka haraka Ibrahim alitumia miaka over 70 kufikia kilicho ndani yake lakini wakati alipokufa aliachia Isaka ulithi ulio na kizima kilichofunguka Have you gotten that? Alipomwachia Isaka alipooa bibi akawa taza alimuombea dakika hiyo hiyo akafunguka Na baba yake alipokufa Wafristi wakajaribu kumfukuza alifikia chemichemi ya uzima within a very short time kwa maana tayari alikuwa amepewa kizima kilichojifungua. Jacob alipopitishiwa kitu kile hata kama moyo wake ulikuwa umejifunga, alifunikwa na wema wa kizima kile still being a wicked man because alikuwa muongo. lakini anaogelea mahali pana kizima ambacho kimejifungua kwa hivyo uongo wake unamnyonga lakini kizima kingali kinafanya kazi I don't know whether you here uongo wake unamletea matatizo lakini ile mbaraka ya Ibrahim baraka ya Ibrahim ni nini ulithi huyu alipitishiwa wenye kizima cha ulithi wa Ibrahim kutoka kwa Mungu ambaye kimefunguka hata wakati atembei vile kuna stahili kizima kile kiko hai kwa maana si chake ni cha mwingine so jacob for eight years akingangana na uongo wake kizima cha ibrahim kingali kinambeba baraka ya ibrahim ingali na mulinda mpaka wakati alisema bwana naitwa jacob mimi unajua ni muongo sana Mungu siposaidia mimi sipati kitu. Ndakika aliposema hivyo Mungu akafungua chake sasa chake kikaanza kufulika. Na mpaka leo Israeli imelindwa na kizima cha Ibrahim even today many years later. Eneo la Israeli limelindwa na kizima kile nilikuwa nasikiza so, one military person akinena juu ya kile kilitendeka katika vita waliokuwa napigana 1942 1942 anasema waliamka walikuwa ilikuwa ilikuwa holiday kwa hivyo askari wengi walikuwa wameenda msikiti walikuwa wameenda synagogue dakika hiyo ndio walifamiwa so mtu mmoja alikuwa amebaki akaanza kukimbia akasema tumefamiwa tumezungukwa na jeshi ra Waarabu kutoka upande moja hakuna askari ako barak yani kulikuwa kitu fani 
So by the time waitane na wali ngurupu na wakati uo ilikuwa kitambo kuitana mu, si kama sasa muna pigania simu, razima kukimbia mtu, akimbia na farasi pande hii, akimbia na nini pande hii, aende ya waite. Na wengine hata wajulika ni kule wako because walienda holiday, wako wengine alienda kusalimia nyanya yake, mwingine kuwaita ilikuwa shida. Rakini yure njama anasema, walipo kimbia ni mtu mwalingia kifaru moja. Na kifaru hicho, ndicho kirirudisha jeshi hiyo, kikiwa kimoja. Jeshi likarundi. Anasema siku moja, wakiwa pale vita ilipo fika ikapita, ilikuwa ingine wamesungukwa. So wakaona wamesungukwa na jeshi na wako maali, na wameshungukwa na wao raud. So mmoja kawambia tumesungukwa, hapa kila mtu waombe, kwa mana ndiyo siku yako ya mwisho, ili uende na amani. Vile jeshi na karibia waliona watu wameanza kutoroka wakikimbia direction zote wakisema baba Ibrahim baba Ibrahim baba Ibrahim wakitoroka so mwisho ya kashindwa ni nini kimefanyika so bandaye ndiye aligundua kile kilifanyika na fikiri ni mtu mmoja kati ya wale lianza kuambiana tulipo karibia watu wale tuliona nuru imetoka juu tukaona mzee ameteremka na tulipo mtazama tulijua ni nani ni Ibrahim. Walipo muona wanainama na kugeuka kila mtu akikimbia mbio akisema yule ni baba Ibrahim. Wakitoroka. So unakuta wanaishi katika eneo linaro lindwa na kizima kile. Because kirifunguliwa akinja fungwa kiko hai Mtu mwema uachia wa watoto wa watoto wa watoto wake urithi lakini mtu hahini mtu aliye na moyo mbaya uachia mapigo Hallelujah. Uh, look at your friend, tell him, you have an inheritance from God. Ukia mungine mambia, you have a sure inheritance from Jehovah, your father. Ukia watatu mambia, that inheritance is so solid. God, do not repent after he has given a gift. It is so solid because he does not repent. Mbanda ya kupeana. Geukia mungine mambie, it is sure because he never changes his mind. Kuna mtu alihitua Arani Israeli. Anahitua Mbaramu. Alipo watazama, akajaribu kuwa raani marakadha, alitokea na wimbo, akasema nje, kwani mungu ni mwana wa anda mandanganye? Na kwani yeye ni mwanandamu? Ageuze mawazo yake. Si amebaliki, anaweza ageuza mbaraka. Anawambia watu hawa sida hizi kurani. Because alie wabariki, baraka wanae beba ya mtu wanaitwa Ibrahim, alie rachiria kitu kile ageuzi akiri zake. So ata ukiona wakiwa wanyonge, usiinkia ovyo ovyo. Huyu si mwana wa andamu ageuke. Wara si mwana andamu ageuze akiri zake. Akisha kukubariki, he does not repent. Therefore, your blessing is sure. It is sure. The only problem ni ya usipo wesa kufikia mbaraka hiyo uifungue. Ito ni chokita kutatiza maishani. 
na mtu mwenye moyo mwema ndiyo uweza kuifikia kwa haraka na vizuri moyo unayeweza kutulia uangalie ndani sio kwa haraka nikae nikinjitazama nijue nilichopewa moyo ambaye ninaweza kutulia nisikie unajua kusikia sauti ya roho yako wakati mwingine inakuanga ngumu kwa maana umesungukwa na kerere kerere ya njia ziko huko ndani na zinaongea pia lakini kuna sauti ya mwingine ambaye ako katika mbegu ya utajiri wako sauti hiyo inastahili kuintroduce sheria ndani yako ili utembee katika sheria hiyo ili utajiri wako ufunguke so aliye na moyo mwema huanza kuifuata sauti hiyo na hakuna mtu ufuata sauti hiyo asifikie kilicho ndani yake hakuna 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 hata mmoja Nakumbuka story ya mtu mmoja aliulizwa swali na journalist na fikiri 1948 alikuwa tajiri an American alikuwa tajiri sana so wakamuliza swali wakamuliza na utajiri wako uliufikia vipi alikuwa ameokoka akamwambia hivi mimi katika maisha yangu ninapofanya biashara nilinjifundisha kufikia sauti ya roho yangu So kama kuna biashara nitaingilia for example zile unaona wengine wanaenda wananunua kambani wanashikana nao hawa wanakuwa korabo wanafanya anasema kabra sinjaingilia biashara yoyote huwa ninaondokea kazi wiki mbili ninajifungia kwa nyumba sasa yule mwenye kuongea hii anasema nilipoangalia bedroom enda kwa bedroom yake aliyekuwa naye wakati huo nyumba ile anajifungia wakati huo ilikuwa kubwa kuliko bedroom yangu kule uenda kujifungia so, na anakaa kule peke yake anaenda anajifungia kwa nyumba anakaa pale wiki mbili akiomba anaomba mpaka roho yake itulie aweze kusikia sauti itokae kwa roho wake because ndani yako uko na sehemu mbili kuna sehemu ya nafsi sehemu ya nafsi wakati mwingine huwa imejaa kerere kerere ya njia mumesikia anasema moyo wa arundie umejaa njia si njia moja njia zake have you heard what i said imejaa njia zake so wakati eneo la nafsi wakati mwingine huwa lina kerere nyingi kwa maana limejaa njia njia zako na njia zile ni nyingi so anajifungia kwa munda naelewa kujifungia kule akiomba ni atulize nafsi yake ili kerere zile zikome aweze kusikiza roho yake inasema nini So akamwambia kila wakati roho yangu iliniambia mm -mm, usiingie na mtu huyo. Hata kama biashara hiyo ilikuwa inaonekana mzuri kiasi gani sikuingiana naye. Lakini kila wakati roho yangu ilisema invest in that. Hata kama biashara ilionekana bure kiasi gani sikurudi nyuma. Akamwambia miaka ile nimefanya biashara mpaka leo sinjawahi kuenda hasara katika one investment ndio sababu nimekuja hapa nilipo. Huwa mnasema biashara ni kupata na kupoteza. Anaambia lakini mimi sinjawahi kuweka nipoteze. Mimi huwa ninaweka nipate. Na hainjawahi kugeuka hata siku moja. Niwe niliweka nikapoteza. But I listen to my spirit. Unajua for example kama mnaenda kupanda na hakutanyesha wakati huyo do, do you know your spirit knows Ni wangapi even who dares your spirit tells you hakutanyesha waachana na hiyo shamba na useme nimeachana nalo Anybody dares mm -hmm. 
Unasema we naweza kuwa ni akili zangu. Unapanda ngunia mbili. Alafu unaanza kusema nilikuwa najua tu. Nilisikia akutanyesha. Nilisikia. So uliposikia what did you do? Wakati mwingine hata tutarumu kuna watu wakati mwingine hata hawa wazee wana wanafanya kunyeshe kutinyeshe wanafanya vizuri wakati mwingine Because wanafanya Mungu aone ni wangapi aliye naye walio na roho isikizae roho zao Therefore hata ukienda kuomba juu ya mzee Mungu hata angalia mzee atakuuliza na wewe Ulisikia roho yako ikiongea na ulienda kupanda kwa nini? Eh, hey, siwe ni makosa ninafanya. Siwe ni makosa ninafanya. You don't begin from the top, you begin from below. Mpaka masikio yako injizoeze, sauti ya roho yako ikiongea, ukishafanya kile kinafanyika. Ukisha geuka kile kinafanyika mpaka upate the clarity ya sauti hiyo katikati ya sauti zingine Kwa nini nina nena juu ya sauti hiyo kwa maana kuna sauti kadhaa unastahili kujifunza kuna sauti ya roho wa Mungu kuna sauti ya neno la Mungu unastahili kujifunza lakini dakika hii nina nena juu ya sauti ya roho wako kwa nini nina nena juu ya sauti ya roho wako because sauti ya roho wako inastahili kufikisha sheria iletaye mipaka katika moyo ili ikujengee njukwa la utajiri wa baba yako kukufikia kitu cha pili sauti ile inastahili kukufungulia mrango uingie katika ofisi ya utajiri wako Uu, hapo ni meconfuse watu kadha eh? Brother, unasikia kama ninasikika? Ni wangapi wamenisikia kile nimesema? Ni wangapi ya wako huku walipotea kitambo? Okay, mungali muko. <laughs> you see, this time I want to be careful what I tell you. I'm talking about things that are very delicate. Now if you miss one, hapa ndipo watu utengenezea chaotic preaching. Yes. Hapa ndipo hatari ya kanisa hiko. So it is better, especially for them that are preaching. Make sure you don't go to scream preaching na ukusikia kile nilisema. Because wakati mwingine wanduku wanasikia nga hiyo ni ujue mzuri. Tomorrow <laughs> wacha mchezo. Hapa ndipo mambo uletea shida. I can show you very many groups ambazo wakisha ingia eneo lile wananena mambo inawaalibu kabisa. So let me say that again. Moyo mwema kuna advantage mtu yule upata. Kitu cha kwanza anapata uwezo wa kuingia ndani yake atazame the talents ama what I call the leaves from the seed of God that you came with. Since that seed, listen to me, that seed is not the word of God you read from the Bible. It is the seed from your spirit because it came from God of the rule of God that is in your spirit. Now, that seed you are born with it. It's a seed that is carrying the gifts of the Father in you. Every man born is born with it. Every woman. Because your spirit came from God. So I have not yet spoken about the word we read from here. I have not yet touched it. I am talking about the role of God. 
stored in your spirit that governs the treasure of God that you are brought with. Is that word in conflict with the written word? No. It is actually according to the written word. Rakini utajua ambira anybody telling you as long as you listen to your spirit. I'm listening to my spirit. I can tell if he is listening by spirit. Kwa sheria hili anatembea nayo. Because sheria inenuaya kutoka kwa roo wako. Iwa uwa reta pareta. Na kire Musa aliambiwa na kire Jeremiah aliambiwa na kire. Reta pareta. Yani uwa haikoseani. Rakini ire itokaya from your spirit is an interpreted information. Kwa mana ana interpreted situations for you. So he is not saying the Bible says. He is interpreting the situations. Unataka kutemberea hapo? That is the wrong direction. Na hata kuereza why it is wrong. Ataanza kukuereza in case you turn. Nda kikaire utageuka, useme sita enda basi, uende uketi maali, useme, and why is it wrong? Uketi sasa uulize, why is it wrong? That is because already by turning, umefungua ofisi. Nda kikaire ndiyo sasa sauti ire, because it is in your spirit, itaanza kukuonyesha why it is wrong. If you did not turn, hata nena kitu kingine, itakuishia hapo. Kitu chapiri, in case you turn and you do not sit, he will not speak to you. The spirit within. Because your spirit will speak to you if you are listening. So kuketi ni kumanisha, I'm listening. Now tell me. When you are listening, it is not only your spirit that becomes awake. The first Spirit of God becomes awake. Because your spirit and the spirit of God talk with each other. So, ndakika hiyo umetani na umesema, sasa nataka kujua. Why is it wrong? I don't understand. I feel it wrong. I don't know why it is wrong. Ni kufungua, umefungua, eneo raro yako, murango wake, the information will start flowing into your spirit. Kira utapewa kutoka pale, kitakuwa sambamba na kile kimeandikwa hapa So you can tell when you are listening to another spirit the minute what you are given goes contrary to what is written <sighs> My God Are you here So sometimes Munataka kwenda na marakifu viki furani unamuka uka nijitayalisha. Lakini kabura uja toka kwa murango unasikia a grief imetoka moyoni. Most of us, uwa wanaambiana kama wako wawiri na bibi. Sinjui kwa nini? Sinjui ni mesikia nini? 22, 22, 22, tutajua. You have just lost it. Ukisha toka, ata kimia. Mbaanda ya kukimia, your soul shall be filled with gloominess that makes you stoop. Ndakika hiyo, you have lost the chance that you had. Yataka yetokea kule mbere, you shall be responsible. Uwezi kusema si kujua. Yataka yetokea na huko, you'll be responsible. Na uwezi kuambia mungu si kujua. Na ndiyo sababu hakuna mtu wanatenda tenda warundi kusema si kujua. Hakuna. Iyo uwa uongo. Iyo uwa uongo. Because you are not a dog or a cow. You have a spirit. Ngomba ndiyo ujikuta. Wewe uwezi kujikuta. You have a spirit. You have a spirit. Look at your friend telling me you have a spirit. You are not like a beast. You have a spirit. And he speaks. 
to you, not to the world, to you. So moyo ulio tulia, unapata nafasi ya kusikiza sauti hizo. So hata uendapo kama ni shambani, na shambalira litafamiwa, ukiwa unalima utasikia sauti, kuna atari. Shamba hili lako walitatoa litafamiwa. If you are a person who listens, urundi sasa uketi, wachana na kulima uanze kusunguka samba, ukisema bwana, sinjui nini yo nimesikia. I want to understand. The next thing ni interpretation ya kire kitafanyika utapewa. Ili kwa mana anataka kukulinda. Kwa mana kuna wakati ya wezi kufanya chochote kabla uja fanya jambo. Kama sasa nilipo kuja mkutano, nilipo kuwa ninakuja. Niliamuka asubui, nikaamuka, nikasikia, nimechoka. Nakuja mkutano. Kwa. Then nikaketi. Nilipo keti nikasikia, kuna atmosphere inaye kataa neno la kweli na linaka. Katika atmosphere hiyo, siwezi kuomba. So nikainamisha uso wangu nikaanza kuomba my spirit akaniambia be careful hiyo unasikia ni kafara iliyo katika jukwaa fulani kutoka pale ninapokuja i'm very careful ninakuja nikisikiza kila kila kitu hata nikisimama mahali Anapo sema, be careful. Enda, but be careful. Iyo ni kafara, iliyo katika juko furani. So, nilipo kuja mara ya kwanza hapa, si kuanza kuumbiri. Uh -uh. He told me, be careful. So, nilipo fika pale, nikiketi kwa gari. Nikiketi kwa gari, about 20 minutes. Mkutano ukiendelea, hakuna mtu walikuwa najua nilifika. Nilifika, nikapake hapo, hata mkiendelea, nikora says, preaching, I'm there. So nimefunga murango sasa nimeketi nikachukua bibiria nikasema bwana what is this ili niweze kuinterpret kitu hiki ameniambia be careful nikatoka pale nikaenda mpaka ndani siku hii hata si kutoa hizi vitu sipangwe nikasikia this is not time now this is a different time karudi ndani i'm listening dakika hiyo ndiye ananiambia eh, akaniambia mkutano huko katika makutano ya barabara sasa the interpretation began mkutano huko katika makutano ya barabara na ikiwa katika makutano ya barabara you cannot preach the meeting has changed into a judgment field na itakuwa hivyo kwa siku mbili kutoka leo. Sasa nikasema na siku nimekuja nimejitayarisha kuingia katika jukwaa la hukumu. How do I approach that? Because sisiki kama kuingia katika jukwaa lile na siku tayari kuingia katika jukwaa lile. So he start interpreting for me which other highway I should use. That is why we took the format we took. Wale waliona niringia, nikachukua kiti, nikaketi. Nika saawa mkami into preach, nika tani mkutano. Kama vile aliniambia ime tani. Nika itani. Ndiripo itani, ndiyo iliingia mahali ya likuwa na nenea sasa ya ibada hile likuwa inafanyo. So as I'm continuing, Ikifika lewa na niambia, sirikuwa segment, simefanyo segment tatu. So watu wanashidu wa, how do you know? Hata wale wanatumana, nanjua wali tumana ijulikane vile mkutano unaenda. Kuna mtu wana, ako wapa, wakupereka habari. So, wataenda wa shidu, how did he know? I'm not a beast. I'm a man. And a man has a spirit. 
And now I have a better advantage because I have a spirit and I have the spirit of God and I have the name of Jesus. So I have a better opportunity. So as I'm kneeling there to pray in Naomba, Naomba, my spirit says again, Jukwali me bandirika. Sasa ni kasimama. Ninapo tembea na sikia we? Remembandirika vibaya. So I began singing. You don't know when I was singing what I was doing. I'm worshipping. I'm changing the environment. I allow the interpretation of my spirit. You were kuwa interpreted. Remembandirika tupitia njia gani. So sweet. Say after me, I'm a man. I, am a man. I, have, a I have a spirit. And I have a soul. Have a soul. From, my spirit, From my spirit, I get informations, I get informations that, enlightens that enlightens me. That I may not walk bright. That I may walk seeing. From my spirit flows the word of truth that I may be governed by the word of God that I may establish goodness in my heart. Heavenly Father, I submit to your purpose of being the end of my spirit. To your purpose establishing my soul in goodness to your purpose of breaking through into the talents of my treasure in the name of Jesus. Today I declare I shall not live like a beast anymore. I have a spirit. I shall not live like a bride anymore. I have a spirit. In the name of Jesus, I uncover my spirit from any form of darkness that I inherited. I command it to break. I allow the light of the word of truth into my spirit and into my soul. In Jesus' name, I bless myself that I may prosper in all what I do, I bless my life that I may prosper in all my works. I declare I have eyes to see, I have ears to hear, I have a heart that can discern. I submit to the discernment of the Spirit of God and the role of God that I may grow to become a person that walks in the right not in darkness in the name of the Lord thank you Heavenly Father for my opportunity to walk into your prosperity rained, rained down for me thank you so much Amen a good man A good man. Jesus, I thank you. You see, sometimes we are busy in church, we just come to attend. There are things we never ask ourselves. How do you break through to your wealth? How do you break through to what you were given? How do you break through to the treasures of God? laid down for you so that you stop wandering in the world as the young men and the young women and old men and are wandering you start opening the doors because as long as the doors will open you shall get it but if the doors do not open you shall miss 
And there are moments you are given to open those doors. And all the doors, they operate in your soul, in your spirit, and in your world. It is not about a shop. Everything is around you, in. He says a good man eats good from the ones of his. So the doors are here. They are inside. As I'm walking, I'm walking with my office. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, the doors are within, within me. How do they open? So we come to church and we don't never bother about that. How do those doors open? How do a good man become a good man? That's in the next question we are supposed to ask. Because the, the good man is the one who is able to get silent. Na ataona mambo furani ya liyo ndani yake. Ayafuate. Afikie kire. Ataweza kusikia sauti liyo ndani yake. Ayafuate. Imulete katika nyumba. But how does he become good? How does he become good? That's an, we are talking, them that came today, we are talking about the inheritance. I'm a heir of two things. So, how do a good man become good? Was he born good? Why then would, allow God, would God allow another one to be born bad? Let's go for a break. Uh, 20 minutes, eh? Yeah? 20 minutes will be enough. We go for a break. When we return, we shall bring our offerings. But to Kirundi Naomba Mungu.